Good afternoon, everybody. Today is already Monday, June the 10th, 2013. I can't believe it. I don't know where the time <laughs> goes. But anyway, it's up Monday. Happy Monday. My name is Tim Bartos, and this is my guest today, Sue Tedesco. Yes. And happy to have you here, Sue. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. I'm the host of Six on Seniors, which is seen right here each and every Monday during the noon news with Liz Bishop. And we talk about all kinds of things that relate to seniors and to caregivers and to just about, uh, like I say, um, everyone else in between. Right. <laughs> so cover everything. We, we, cover, we cover a lot. <laughs> exactly. This is a live web chat. And uh, we're very happy that you've joined us. This is your opportunity to ask an expert. Uh, today we talked about assisted living and when it might be time to consider uh, moving into an assisted living and uh, what signs to look for that might be clues that perhaps a, an elderly person needs more care than they're getting at home. So th that's today's t topic, assisted living, and Sue is the expert. I'm going to tell you more <laughs> about her in just one minute. But uh, first of all, let me tell you how you can get questions to us. And we'd love to take your questions or your comments. We are right here now live in the CBS 6 studios on Balltown Road in Niskayuna. You can send them through email at, uh, it's chat, C-H-A-T, at WRGB.com. That's the email way to get questions to us. And there's also the CBS 6 Facebook page, and uh, you can send questions through the Facebook page, yep. which, incidentally, I just realized is, uh, what, 32,900 something, likes. just under 33,000 likes, uh, friends, I guess, whatever, whatever <laughs> you call it on Facebook. So if you have not become a friend of CBS 6 Facebook page, be sure to like it and push that number over 33,000. We're well on our way to 35. And uh, while you're doing that, you might want to become a friend of Baptist Health Nursing and Rehab Center. We have a Facebook page, and uh, we're getting close to 700 on that page. So we'd love it if you'd like that page as well. But those are the two ways that you can get questions to us, and we're anxious to take questions or even your comments. If you have a comment, something that you'd like to share, regards to assisted living, whatever, uh, be it positive or negative, we would love to hear it. So uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, all right, with that being said... Uh, I want to introduce Sue Tedesco, and uh, Sue, thank you again for, for coming out today. Thank you very much. Really appreciate this. Uh, Glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, how, did you have a nice weekend? I did. Good. How was yours? Good. It was very nice. Thank you. Never long enough. Never no, long they're enough. never long never. enough. <laughs> I don't know never. what's with that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Sue is a registered nurse. Yes. She has her bachelor's from SUNY in Utica. Yes. Right? In yes, Utica. correct. And you've been a nurse for 27 years. I don't believe that. I don't I either. Don't. I don't either. Years. It ages me. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, 27 years with experience in critical care, triage, Medicare, yeah. and uh, uh, most of those years has been with working with seniors. Yes. Uh, 22, yes. right, with mm -hmm. seniors. And the last eight years, you have been uh, working in, and managing an assisted living. Yes. And uh, you are now the executive director of the uh, Judson Meadows Correct. Assisted Living, which is brand new in Glenville, uh, Soon scheduled to open, to open in yeah. probably late August. Yes, is, uh, what the, looking the forward to it. Right. And you're married with four college-age children, yes. right? Mm -hmm. and, and you live in Saratoga Springs. Correct. Right. I got it all right. You got it all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, why don't, we, uh, why don't we get right into things here today? Um, and uh, I've got a question for you. Sure. I always come armed with some questions, and the people who watch regularly, they know that. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, I want to ask you, Sue, what do you like about working with seniors? As, uh, as I just said, you've spent the majority of your career working with seniors. Yes. So there's obviously something there that attracts you to seniors, and I'd love to hear what it is, and I'm sure our, our viewers would too. So. I absolutely enjoy and love working with seniors. I initially, as a nursing student, thought, you know, pediatrics, it sounds fun with children. I just learned that I had a definite love for working with the senior population. I enjoy it. Uh, I just feel it's the niche that I've always wanted to be in, and I absolutely can't picture myself doing anything but that. Mm -hmm. I, I just truly enjoy it, wow. and I think it's very, very rewarding. Wow, that's great. You know, something I, I just 
thought of this because I often think of this, and maybe I shared this before, so forgive me if you've heard <laughs> me talk about this before. But you know, I, I often ask myself, when do you become a senior? You know, I, I don't know that there's really any particular age where you become a senior, or maybe we never really do become seniors. Uh, in my you opinion, know? you never become a senior. Well, there but you, are. you know, See? if you speak with twenty-year-olds, I'm a senior. <laughs> right. So yes. I guess it's yes. everyone's opinion. Yes. But to me. Uh, especially working with seniors for many, many years, yeah. they always tell me they don't age in the inside. So yeah. to them, they're still 20, 25, 30, irregardless of how they right. look on the outside. Sure. And that's the way that we treat right. them. Right. And, you know, I'm not even sure that uh, uh, businesses know because when it comes to, like, senior discounts, right. everybody's got a different age, right? That's correct. <laughs> you know, one that's restaurant correct. is 55, another 65. 60, 65. So. <laughs> Who knows, true. who knows what it is? I have to tell you, somebody told me, one of our volunteers at Baptist said to me that her granddaughter said to her recently, she says, Grandma, you're not getting old. You're getting older. That's getting true. Older. <laughs> getting older. It's the concept that you have so, to hold on there to. There you go. Right. That's yeah. right. All right. Well, uh, what is it in particular that uh, interests you about assisted living? Well, I, I had been in uh, long-term care for many, many years, and I was approached by a friend that was already in assisted living um, about an opportunity. So I thought it was a very intriguing aspect, a little bit different. Um, you know, people that, th there's a definite need for assisted living bef before you get to long-term care. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to expand my career into a different area and uh, was an assistant administrator loved it. Um, I enjoy so much working with the seniors, you know, to see they may not always be excited about the process of, you know, giving up their home and coming mm -hmm. into an assisted living uh, facility. However, once they get settled, they feel the caring of the staff, the genuine appreciation of them that they're there and the relief of their families that they don't have to worry there is someone there looking after their loved one mm -hmm. day in and day out right it, it's just right. very rewarding right. and um, it's they really appreciate sure. it sure well I know I mentioned during the um, uh, outset of the se during the segment today that uh, you know when, you, when given a choice most of us would probably say hey I want to stay in my own home right, right. but you know, as you just mentioned, that, that there are so many nice options out there, and, and assisted yes. living is one of them. And it just there's so many things that assisted living offers. So maybe you could describe some of the services which assisted living uh, pro uh, communities provide. Uh